I thought I was beyond ranting about Star Wars anymore, but George Lucas just said he doesn't think that Disney gets Star Wars. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. Hi y'all, Snarky J Cosplay here. So remember a few months back when that big shakeup at Disney was happening that people were trying to get Bob Iger out and George Lucas actually stepped forward to defend what Iger and Disney had been doing. Probably because they'd still been making him money. People were still paying for Disney Plus subscriptions. People were still buying Star Wars merchandise. People were still defending Star Wars content and now when the Acolyte, Disney's upcoming Star Wars project, has more dislikes than likes on a trailer, when it seems like all interest in Star Wars is slowly fading away, George Lucas has come out to accept that some things were lost when he sold Star Wars to Disney, and we have to talk about that. So George Lucas recently made an appearance at Con to receive some kind of honor and award, and he had this to say. I was the one who really knew what Star Wars was, who actually knew this world because there's a lot to it. The Force, for example, nobody understood the Force. When they started other ones after I sold the company, a lot of the ideas that were in the original sort of got lost. But that's the way it is. You give it up, you give it up. And that's a great way of looking at it, right? You give it up, you give it up. And it's not that he gave it up, it's that he made several billion dollars selling Star Wars to Disney. It's so interesting to hear this from him because on the one hand, George Lucas himself has changed what the Force is a few times. For my ally is the Force, and the powerful ally it is. Life creates it, makes it grow. Its energy surrounds us and binds us. And then when it was convenient in the prequel trilogy... Midichlorians are a microscopic life form that resides within all living cells. Without the Midichlorians, life could not exist, and we would have no knowledge of the Force. They continually speak to us, telling us the will of the Force. It was midichlorians in the blood. It was like an actual tangible fucking thing that you could see with a space microscope. But we're not just talking about the Force. We're talking about the ideas, right? George Lucas said the ideas that were in the originals. And I don't mean the ideas that George Lucas had for the additional trilogy because he had stuff that he wanted in a third trilogy that Disney basically threw out the window, got rid of the extended universe, all the comics, they never fucking meant anything to anybody and they essentially made their own bullshit universe where they could kill off all your favorites from the original trilogy they could make all your favorite villains look like absolute dummies for the sole purpose of pushing product and more nonsense that they could hold on to hell that's why they have an entire star wars land that's dedicated and set in the timeline set by the sequel trilogy and apparently if you ask an employee about anakin skywalker they're supposed to tell you they don't know who that is i hate it here anyway the point is that there are a lot of ideas established by george lucas in the original trilogy that yes have been lost. Ideas that were still prevalent and present in the prequels. For as flawed as they might have been, they are still leagues better than anything Disney has produced with a Star Wars label on it. George Lucas really struck gold with Star Wars, and I don't just mean because it made him a bunch of money, but George Lucas made something that almost 50 years later, we still hold near and dear. Could you say that about any part of Disney's new trilogy? Can you say that any specific line from Disney's new trilogy stuck with you in a good way? I don't mean... Somehow Palpatine returned. That we remember because it was dog shit, unimaginative writing. And that, I think, is the main idea of Star Wars that was lost when Disney bought it. Imagination and a desire to create. George Lucas may have had his moments where he was definitely just kind of selling out a little bit, right? The Ewoks and stuff like that were definitely just product placement. But Star Wars was something made by a fan, made by somebody like us. Some detail-oriented geek who wanted to tell a story, he wanted to tell a space opera, he wanted ships and aliens and heroes and babes in metal bikinis. He wanted what we want and he gave it to us. He gave it to us because he wanted us 
to enjoy it because it was what he would have enjoyed. Disney makes what they think we should enjoy. Disney looks at what was established by George Lucas not as inspiration or a blueprint or a map to continue forward. They look at it as something to see what can we pull out of here and drain it. What can we copy? What can we trash and build our own thing upon? It's like they're burning down flowering fields to replant their own bullshit. That's what they're doing. The idea of imagination, creativity, and good storytelling, all of those were abandoned the day that Disney bought Star Wars. And I hope that it's not difficult for George Lucas to really think about that. He's a smart guy and I don't think he's blind to what Disney has done with the franchise. And I'm sure he sees plenty of our complaints. It means nothing. He made his money and like he said, when you give it up, you give it up. But I can't imagine that it doesn't hurt a little bit because as somebody that's just been attached to Star Wars for a little over 10 years and is just a big fan, I can't tell you how much it hurts me to see it go down this path, so. Star Wars was my baby. I think I'd feel even worse. <laughs> That's all from me. I've been Snarky J. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. For more Snarky J, catch me on Twitch every Tuesday and Thursday from 6 to 8 p.m. You can also check out my Instagram. And if you'd like to support me, this channel, and my content creation, do check out and consider subscribing to my Patreon for exclusive content and photo shoot sets. I will add links to all of those in the description below. And let me know your thoughts on Disney losing the plot in the comments below.